birthday, which is uh, one month ago, I had this dream when I was blowing my candles saying that I wanted to be on a list saying 30 under 30, which is amazing that you guys called me one month after that. It shows that um, what we were doing for the for the last couple of years that we are actually appreciating. I'm happy that um, you know even my small achievements are being recognized. I'm pleased to be recognized by you, and uh, that makes me feel that I'm on the right track. Me and my father went to uh, to Al Batha to buy small gifts and small items so I can go to my uh, to, the, to the weekly family gatherings and I would just sell it. I just had it in my blood that I knew I wanted to, uh, to do my own business. It's not a decision, it's not something that you wake up in the morning and you say, okay, so today I'm gonna be an entrepreneur for the rest of my life. You know, you have a lot of uh difficult decisions to make in life and I think you know in regards to let's say work and, and being an entrepreneur that was probably my most difficult was deciding to leave my nine to five secure job and start something on my own. It's not about what you want sometimes the chance the chances comes to you. If you ask me this year's hardest moment for my life would be different than last year it would be different than last year because you all think that it couldn't get worse but it, it actually does. Uh, the hardest moment of my life when I uh, lost my father during my first year in college. I started, it was sort of um, deviating from that original idea, sort of tweaking the concept to make it work. Also, um, another hard thing was um, getting the word out there, um, trying to reach recognition and uh, the trust of the people. When I decided I would go without a job, just focus on my business. Graduated from the high school with um, 70 or 67 percent. Um, it was a time where I thought um, it's, it's the end. Throughout the years of, of managing the company, we've been through uh, cash flow management uh, issues, uh, the recruitment, wasn't easy. Just look at myself that I didn't, I didn't complete my education comparing to my uh, father or my whole family and brothers till I found out, no, this is the right time to change. Over the years, I've heard from a lot of you know older, more um, experienced entrepreneurs about saying no to things and, and learning when to say no. Most challenges can be overcome with the right focus and determinations. Um, to always look at the bigger picture, to always remind yourself of your main goal. I believe everything that happens for a purpose and it has an impact in, in, in the situation I, I reached now. And I didn't start it as a business, but then it, it grew to a business. So it was really difficult for me um, to, to take it back and like restructure it. Our first wow moment was passing by the streets and finding our sign out there after I had my first daughter. Actual moment we launched the website uh, when it went live uh, for the first time. When I basically saw my son for the first time, my son Yahya. The wow moment of my life is when I got um, an email from Harvard to speak at their uh, Harvard Arab Weekend. Uh, when, I ran, when I ran into someone who, who we actually recruited and working fine and happily. And I got invited to meet Michelle Obama in the White House, which was really great at the Celebration Design. It was the only um, fashion um, professional from the Middle East that was invited. So that was also really rewarding. My mom loved that because she got to show that off. One of my dreams was to build a company. I already did that. Now the job would be to grow it. Sometimes I, I would talk with, with myself and I, I dream high. Even when it came to what I do now, it was definitely something that I kind of, you know, saw the market, saw a void, saw, okay, can I kind of fill that void with, you know, the services that I want to provide? And then it kind of, you know, you kind of navigate around that. Reminding myself of my values, my, my dreams, my goals every day. I always knew that I wanted to have my own brand, but now that it happened, I. I want different things. I don't necessarily have to do what I have to know what I'm doing. I just have to do it and just go with the flow and see and see where life takes me. Life always throw new stuff at you, new challenges, and that changes what you want to do sometimes. 
Um, I think it's always to sort of have uh, new aspirations and dreams and, and sort of uh, aim to go for that. Um, whenever I hear something up to someone who would fetishize our businesses, our services, um, I don't take it in a, in a personal matter. Um, I usually listen to all kinds of criticism, whether negative or positive, and take it into insight to help improve creeds. So we have to listen more than we talk. So I have to listen. We enjoy criticism. We think it's part of the journey. I usually take it into consideration, but I don't make it my priority. I think it's the one of the strongest learning tools that we have. Uh, I always try to remember the achievements I have done in the past. Just to focus on the high points and, and you know, the small victories. By thinking positively. I also always look for inspirations everywhere I go. I, I was taught at a very young age uh, to learn a lot, to be curious. I think being on, on, you know, on lists like these, like 30, under 30, really is is motivating and it's it's um, it's a great thing to be on